Hello everyone, welcome to part 6 of Dr. Robotnik's Creature Capture. Today we enter Scrap Brain Zone, the hardest zone in the game. Now, for those unfamiliar, Scrap Brain Zone is Dr. Eggman's base in Sonic the Hedgehog, so it is a bit vexing that Eggman is having to run around and dodge his own traps to capture these animals. You'd think he would turn off his automated defense system to make this process a bit easier, but yeah, who am I to question the doctor's methods? In any event, just as in the original game, Scrap Brain Zone is absolutely filled with traps. We have, among other hazards, spike pendulums, electric generators, flamethrowers, and buzzsaws, all designed for the express purpose of crushing Sonic the Hedgehog and preventing him from foiling our schemes. Needless to say, this place is designed to be dangerous, so we need to take extra care when navigating it. Now, for the longest time, I've always been curious about the name Scrap Brain Zone. What was Eggman thinking when he named this place? Ah, this factory is brilliant! It's like a scrap of my own brain! <laughs> I mean, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Incidentally, Scrap Brain kind of sounds like an insult that Robotnik would deliver to his own badniks in the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Come on, you scrap brains! Can't you capture a hedgehog? You know, am I the only one who thinks that? I don't know. Really, though, Eggman seems more than justified here. Scrap Brain is his private property as well as his home, and it is infested with animals after all. Now, you could make the argument that he should just release them outside instead of capturing them and refashioning them into robots, but we can just agree to disagree. The important thing to note is that Eggman has a pest problem, and he is dealing with it himself. In arguably the most inefficient way possible, but he is at least dealing with it. Interestingly, while in the Genesis version of Sonic the Hedgehog, Scrap Brain was just a typical zone with obstacles and a straight beeline from start to finish, the Game Gear version shook things up a bit, making Scrap Brain Zone more of a maze with doors and rooms, and it was easier to get lost. It was a different approach than Sonic is usually accustomed to, but I found it interesting. So here's a bit of trivia for you. In the Western localization of Sonic the Hedgehog, as I already established, Eggman was renamed Dr. Ivo Robotnik. The first name Ivo is actually the word Ovi reversed. Ovi, of course, means egg, so it is sort of a play on words with the egg theme associated with the character. So I found that to be really clever. Okay, now to run to the finish post. Let's just head up, first of all. Dodge all of these traps, and stick to the high road. Jump up on these blocks, and this time go right instead of left, as we did earlier and fall right onto it. And that's it for Act 1. Ready? So in Act 2, we're actually inside of the factory. You'll want to jump up one level above the starting point to find the capsule, right here. Now, remember where that capsule is, because this level is pretty large. I'm going to stick to the animals closest to the capsule first, just to get them out of the way. We'll get that chicken later, though. There's a couple up here that I want to take care of before then. Just get this rabbit and a... <laughs> Avoid the buzzsaw, as I just demonstrated there. Luckily, as long as you scroll him off screen, he comes back. Just take him back, and continue. This time we want to go up into the left, onto these conveyor belts. And we want to wait for an appearing block to show up, and miss it the first time. There we go. Now, that takes us to those conveyor belts with the buzz saws that I was hit by earlier, so it goes in sort of a loop. That way it's just a bit faster than going the other route. That way I can bypass the aforementioned buzz saws and not have to worry about getting hit by anything. 
Now I've cleared all of the upper level animals, so it's time to head down below. Really, as long as you have a vague visual idea of where each section of the stage is, you should be fine here. Okay, so we're headed back down, but this time we're going to go through those opening and closing doors and take the spring back up. Like so. Next, we simply repeat the process. Simply go through the opening and closing doors, hit the spring by accident, go through those doors again, and this time continue right a little bit more. Just a slight variation on the last animal we got. Take this one back to the capsule. And, you guessed it, repeat the process again. Go through those doors, avoid the spring this time, and drop down and continue to the right. And we simply make the long journey back up to the capsule. Make sure you don't fall off of that retracting platform there. Take one spring up, take the second spring up here, and we'll be back to the capsule as soon as we make our jump. As soon as we make our jump. There we go. There we almost go. Having a bit of a sloppy run this time. Alright, next we're going to the very lowest point in the entire stage. So as always, we're going to go through the trap doors, fall down this shaft, avoid getting electrocuted here, and this time go even further to the left, take the spring up, and this will take us to this area, this very dangerous area with lots of traps and the goalposts. Let's remember where that is. And we've got our animal. Let's just head to the left to get out of here and this will give us an alternate route back up toward the capsule. Now since we are carrying an animal, we want to avoid those electrocution traps there. Let's just jump up here, and the capsule should be to our right. Alright, one more. This one's easy enough. We just drop down to where we started the stage, here, and go to the right, and fall down intentionally to this lone area with an animal and a spring. And then we just jump back up and take that animal to the capsule, after which we will head to the finish post at the lowest point in the stage, where we just were. So let's make our way back down, avoid any hazards that might slow us down and impede our progress, jump on the yellow spring, and make a mad dash to the finish post right here in the center. And that's it for Act 2. Up next is the hardest stage in the game, Scrap Brain Zone Act 3. Ooh, looking forward to that. See you guys there. Ready? Go! So, again, for those watching who are unfamiliar with Sonic the Hedgehog 1, just as in the original Genesis game, Scrap Brain Zone Act 3 opts for the aesthetic and challenges of Labyrinth Zone rather than the factory-based level of Scrap Brain. In the original game, you got to Eggman at the end of Scrap Brain Zone Act 2, but then he dropped Sonic down a trapdoor into the underwater labyrinth beneath his base. Needless to say, since Labyrinth Zone was not a popular stage in the game, despite me personally liking it very much, this was seen as a very <laughs> bad move for a lot of players. A lot of people were not pleased with having to play an underwater stage at the very end of the game. And to be fair, it was a very difficult level, and in Dr. Robotnik's Creature Capture, that is still definitely very true. The stage is very large, the water makes you move very slowly, and there are a lot of obstacles that will knock the animals out of you, or make you fall when you're trying to make a jump, or otherwise cause you to lose time. So it can be a very frustrating level to play, especially if you're trying to go for a good time. I've practiced this stage quite a few times, and I'm still not very good at it. But we'll see how I do here. Again, since you do move more slowly underwater, those fireballs are a bit harder to dodge, but as long as you continuously move, you should be fine. Let's just take this back up to the capsule here. That swinging ball is probably going to be a problem later. 
you do have to make the jump over that pit, and it's very easy to get hit while doing so. Try to collect all nearby animals in a similar part of the stage, just so you remember which sections of the stage you finished already, so you don't waste time going to dead ends where you've already captured that area's animal. As big as Act 3 is, and as many animals as you have to capture, it can be very easy to forget where you've been and waste time. So let's avoid doing that here. It was also a very close call with that uh, spike ball there. As you can see, I'm trying to clear most of the lower animals first. There are quite a few of them on the higher levels of the stage, but I'm going to save them for later. So this time, we're finally heading up for a change, if I <laughs> don't miss my jump, of course. There are a few obstacles we need to avoid. The central spike ball we're going to need to bypass twice, once crossing the pit and once on the way up these platforms. These uh, wall spears and fireball turrets are a problem too, so just mind them as you pass by. Now we're going to be making that climb several times, and it's going to get longer each time we do it, so let's get this easy one out of the way first. And head back to the capsule before making the same climb again, before going even higher the next time. Just carefully make our descent here. There we go. Now, rinse and repeat. We're going to go back up to where we found that animal, but this time we're going to continue upward past that spear that we left alone last time. The stage is rather slow-paced, and it can be a little bit frustrating and tedious if you do drop one of your animals and have to repeat the process of capturing them, so you want to be extra careful to avoid that here. Luckily I wasn't carrying an animal here, otherwise I would have to retreat and come back, which would be no fun at all. And that's where our goal is, so let's remember that. And let's take this route down instead of the one that we came up. Remember where that penguin is, of course. And here we go. So that's the spear that we dodged going up. So we're back in the central area now. So we want to carefully make our way back to the capsule, which is down and to the left of here. And now that we've cleared that jump, we're basically, yeah, we're here. Now, to go back up all over again. <laughs> so, rather than bore you by just describing what's literally happening on screen, which I know you can deduce for yourselves, uh, maybe we should talk about what my next playthrough is going to be when this is over. Um, after finishing Dr. Robotnik's Creature Capture, which will be done in one more video, there's still some bonus content to look at after I finish the stage, but after this playthrough is over, I'd like to continue the Wario series. You know, I did Wario Land already, and I'll be tackling the sequel in my next series of videos. And no, I don't mean Wario Land 2, though I will get to that eventually. I'm talking about the original sequel, Virtual Boy Wario Land, which I honestly consider kind of an overlooked gem. It's a really good game, and I think it definitely lives up to the first one in terms of quality and fun. But, since it was on the Virtual Boy, an objectively terrible system, not many people played it. So, I hope to show it off and let people see what they might have been missing. It's definitely worth a download, if nothing else. Dr. Eggman, I didn't want to say anything, but I'm beginning to worry about you. I mean, here you are, traipsing about in your flooded basement, trying to capture animals with a net. I think... I think it's really time to start sending in your robots to do some of this for you. This can't be good for a man your age. Please, Doctor, go back upstairs to Scrap Brain Zone Act 2, get a nice cup of tea, and go to bed. You need some rest, Doc. You really, really need to take a break. Please, do, do it for yourself. Oh well, we are almost there at least. We only have four more of these pesky animals to capture. So let's continue our ascent to the upper levels of Act 3 and hopefully make short work of finding them. Again, though, I'm pretty bad at this stage, so we'll see how that goes. Now, the first real game, the first legitimate Sega-made game to feature Dr. Eggman as a playable character, was the Game Gear racing title Sonic Drift, which is a bit like Mario Kart with less characters, less courses, and less options. <laughs> it's not a bad game by any means. You know, especially for being on a portable system. 
I might show it off at some point. I doubt I'll let's play the whole thing, because I don't think racing games are particularly conducive to a playthrough with commentary like that, but I think I at least owe it to the good doctor to show some footage of his first playable appearance. Now, games with playable Eggman that I might do a let's play of include Sonic Adventure 2, of course. Uh, Sonic Advance 3 might also come up eventually. He's not playable for very long in that game, but he does get a notable playable appearance toward the end. Um, he is playable in Sonic Chronicles, but that is an RPG, and I feel that RPGs also, much like racing games, do not make for very good commentary. So I may put that on hold. He's not playable for long in that game anyway. Just for about two out of the ten chapters in the game. Um, other than those, Eggman's playable appearances have been mostly relegated to kart racing, tennis, the Olympics, etc. Which are all fun, but I don't think they would be very good for, uh, for this, for what I'm doing here. Which, once again, brings me back to a point that I've hit on a couple of times in this playthrough. Sega needs to give Eggman his own game. I think it could be really good. Do it, Sega. It'll be good. It'll be good, trust me. Okay, let's go get that penguin, which we just passed up, so we don't have to go too far to get him back. There we go. Now to take this guy back to the capsule, and after that we'll have only one more animal to capture. So, with that one animal left, let's go back toward the beginning of the stage, without falling down, and get him. You know, as much as I like this game, I do feel like it's a lot of busy work sometimes. <laughs> I think it would have been a little bit better if they allowed you to capture more than one animal at a time. You know, they could put some risk and reward in there. Like, if you happen to be carrying five animals, and you get hit by an obstacle, well, you would lose all five and have to go collect them again. So it could enable you to finish the level a lot faster, but if you're not careful, you could also waste a lot more time. I think that would be a really good improvement on this game's overall design. Not that the game is bad by any means. <laughs> See, I just lost my penguin. Let's go get that again. Uh, I really wanted to avoid that happening, uh, so as not to prolong the video too much, but luckily we're not too far. We've got plenty of time to go get that penguin again. Yeah, though, um, I think that could have improved the game significantly, but I'm not complaining too much. The game is still pretty great as is, especially for a fan-made ROM hack. Anyway, now that we've got our last animal, let's make our way more carefully than last time back to the capsule, put the animal in the capsule, and then go back up to the top of the stage for the finish post, which we will work on now. This is, I believe, the quickest route to the top of the stage, so let's just climb here. This is the route that's most devoid of obstacles, as best as I can remember. Just watch out for the few that are here, just in case, though. Let's be careful not to fall and waste even more time. Now, after we uh, clear this next jump, we will come across the finish plate, finishing Act 3 and all of Scrap Brain Zone, which is the last... Sonic 1 zone in the game. It's the last regular level as well, but we've unlocked something. Let's see what we have after this stage is over. So, as you can see, we've unlocked a few new panels here, featuring a couple of bonus features of the new Collision Relics zone, as well as the credits. We'll be looking at all of those in the next video. For now, that's it for Dr. Robotnik's Creature Capture Part 6. Tune in next time for the final part, 7, where we look at the bonus features and ending. See you then, and thanks for watching. <laughs>